think uh, it was directly uh, inspired by my dad. Uh, he originally came from a small town in India and wanted to pursue a path in medicine. But at the time, I think he uh, thought getting a bachelor in science was equivalent to that, and kind of his career went down a different path. Uh, but he continued to engage in community activities and, um, you know, acts of kindness, which kind of permeated down to me as, as a young child. And, uh, you know, I got involved in reading about medicine, got involved in the extracurriculars and volunteer aspects of it as well, um, which, you know, kind of reaffirmed my, uh, my interest and passion in medicine. So as a medical student, uh, you know, we engaged very deeply with the community in Moshi, Tanzania along with Dr. Carpenter and Pamoja Tunaweza, which was the, uh, the NGO that we went with. And we identified uh, the educational needs uh, and the healthcare needs of the community where, where we're at. And we actually uh, authored and started a health uh, education curriculum uh, geared towards addressing these healthcare issues, such as women's health, you know, UTIs, STIs, uh, as well as cardiac health, especially hypertension, which is a big issue there. Before medical school, uh, I mentioned my, my father was a great influence uh, on my actions and pursuit of medicine. Uh, however, I started after starting medical school, um, one of my mentors from Ottawa, uh, who's an interventional cardiologist, has actually been significantly influential um, with his guidance and a few mentors here from Queens as well. I got the opportunity to see the distinct intersection of medicine with uh, advocacy, global health, government, um, and you know, it places us in a, an interesting vantage point upon which I want to continue to build and, uh, and engage myself uh, in the greater field of medicine.